Hello and welcome to Thank You Thursday. Today we are talking about Olive Elaine Morris, born 1952, died 1979. Olive Elaine Morris was a black nationalist, community leader and activist based in Britain. She represented women of African and Asian descent and fought for squatters' rights in England. Morris was born in St. Catherine, Jamaica on the 26th of June 1952. Her mother was Doris Lewina, a factory shop steward, and her father was Vincent Nathaniel Morris, a forklift driver. Vincent and Doris came to England post-World War II in the Windrush generation, leaving Olive and one of her brothers with the grandmother. Age 9, Olive and her brother were brought to England to join the rest of the family in Lavender Hill, South London. She attended Hartbrook Primary School and went on to Lavender Hill Girls Secondary School before going on to Tulse Hill Secondary School. Olive left school without qualifications and went on to London College of Print. The African Caribbean and Asian communities had a turbulent time in Britain in the 60s and 70s, contributed heavily by the Sus Laws. The Sus Laws were a stop and such law that gave police the power to stop and search anyone they deemed suspicious. Black communities were heavily targeted with this law. Ethnic communities were also targeted by fascist attacks from the National Front as well as facing difficulties in unemployment and housing. This inspired Olive to become an organiser in the fight against racism and sexism in Britain. She was given a three-month suspended sentence for two years and a £10 fine for intervening in the arrest of a Nigerian diplomat when police had used the sus laws to stop and accuse him of stealing his car. Clement Gomwalk was dragged out of his Mercedes and beaten in front of a crowd. During this event, Olive was beaten beyond recognition by the police. The London police forced her to strip and threatened to rape her while she was in custody. She was charged with assault on a police officer and possession of a dangerous weapon. Olive would go on to use this experience and others to expose the London police. Several black leaders and members of the Black Panther Party in America visited London and gave lectures including Malcolm X in 1965 and Angela Davis in 1967. This inspired black Britons to start a local movement. This was the birth of the British Black Panthers whose headquarters was on Shakespeare Road, Brixton. This later became the Black Workers' Movement. Olive joined the British Black Panthers at age 17. She was also a founder of Brixton Black Women's Group. Olive was also a member of the squatting movement. She was a squatter herself and squatted at 121 Railton Road in 1973. This was the home of Saba Bookshop, one of the first black community bookshops. It was also an organising centre for BASH, which was a community group which stood for Blacks Against State Harassment. It was a community centre and the headquarters for the squatters movement. Olive obtained a social degree in social science after enrolling in the University of Manchester in 1975. She continued her activist work there, working with the National Coordinating Committee Overseas Students. She also founded the Manchester Black Women's Cooperative and Black Women's Mutual Aid Group. Olive also established a supplementary school after she had campaigned with black parents for better education provisions. She gained the opportunity to visit China, where she wrote an article named A Sister's Visit to China in 1977. It was published in Speak Out newsletter and touched upon self-help, community struggle and anti-imperialist struggles. On Olive's return to Brixton, she became a founding member of the Organisation for Women of African and Asian Descent in 1978. She also edited the organisation's magazine called Forward. Shortly after, Olive became ill during a trip to Spain. When she returned, she was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. She died on 12th of July 1979 at St Thomas Hospital. Lambeth Council named one of its key buildings after her in 1986. She also appeared on the Brixton one pound note which is a local currency. In 2011, the Morris Memorial Award was launched which gives bursaries to young black women. A huge memorial was painted in Blenheim Gardens in Brixton titled Say It Loud, painted by Breeze Yoko. Olive Elaine Morris was a radical black feminist that fought for the rights and preservation of culture in ethnic minorities. In the words of Olive Morris, Black women, fight now for the future of your kids. Black 
suffering. Fight police brutality. My heart will always be in Brixton. I would like to say thank you to Olive Elaine Morris. You definitely made the world a better place. Peace.